Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I cannot let go of this teeny, teeny, tiny little microphone. I just love it so much. Como la flor. And okay, back it, back it, back it, back it up. So today is a very, very simple uh, tutorial. However, it's a very cute one. The other day when I was at Bath and Body Works with my mom, let me reach, let me reach. Should I edit this part out? This is kind of ghetto that I'm like reaching. Anyway, I saw this lotion from Bath and Body Works and I was like, that packaging is beautiful. That would be beautiful as a tumbler. So guess what I did? I turned it into a tumbler and I, it's a very quick tutorial because it was very easy to do, but I'm gonna show you exactly how I transformed it. And I hope that this gives you like more inspiration ideas uh, so that when you're out at the grocery store it, or at a bakery, literally anywhere, a cookie design could be inspiration, a lotion, a body spray, like a mural on a wall, anything. So. I hope you enjoy this video. One more thing, guys, please don't forget that October 5th is the absolute last chance to sign up for my Patreon for the rest of the year. If you're new here, please like and subscribe, but don't forget to ring the bell so that you never miss out on a video. I love you guys so much. You're all amazing. You're all precious. Thank you for being here. And what do I always say before I go? Besitos! I have a really fun tutorial planned for next Saturday, so you're not going to want to miss that one. Bye, guys! We are going to start with an already prepped tumbler in spray painted in the color gold, like a metallic gold. I got my, pre my spray paint at Walmart, but I will link one from Amazon that you guys can order. I did get this file for the flowers on Etsy. I will link it in the description as why am I? I will link it look it why am i talking like that oh my god <laughs> so i am just cutting the flowers out i just want a little bit of accents because the lotion only has flowers like on the little outer corners so we're just going to try to imitate that design as close as we can right now we're kind of just winging it guys okay i have i have no really big plan other than i'm kind of trying to follow what those flowers look like on the lotion I'm super excited because now I know how it turned out. Um, so basically I found these stickers of like the greenery at Michael's. I, I can't link it for you because I didn't find it on their website, but I know that if you go to Hobby Lobby, Michael's, Walmart, all of their sticker sections will typically have some sort of greenery like this. So you should be able to find something. I just kind of started poking them at the very edges. I did leave that space in the center because as you can see in the lotion, there's a white square and I wanted to make sure that there was a lot of negative space and that I wasn't going to be covering up a lot of the floral and the greenery pattern that we are laying down. So once I got all the greenery like around that I wanted and I felt like it looked good, I started with my flowers and as you can see in the lotion, they kind of just poke out like at the top, at the bottom, and on the sides. Um, the white, the little white square in the center is kind of over them, so they're just kind of like peeking out. I really love how that looks. The second I saw it, I was like, this is going to look really cool on a cup. So this is like a really fast tutorial, especially if you're just getting started and you're a little intimidated by glitter or you don't want to do a super complex design. This is perfect for you because it's literally gold spray paint and then your decals. And I'm going to show you in Cricut Design Space how I made the little um, white decal. So I just took a square shape. I unlocked it at the bottom left. There's a little lock button and then I kind of made it like mimic the same shape as the one on the lotion. It wasn't a perfect square. So I kind of just shaped it how I thought it was, you know, gonna look similar. And then I did an offset on that first shape. I did an offset. And as you guys can see, you have the offset button at the top. Button, you have the button. <laughs> you have the offset button at the top. And then when I offsetted it, I removed the inner square, which is the square that we started with. I moved it to the side and I did an offset again on the bigger shape. Now, what this is gonna do, you guys, is this is gonna allow us to, um, once we have the offset for the bigger square, I'm gonna be able to just highlight both of those squares and slice, okay? Hit the slice option um, at the bottom 
bottom right of the screen and what that's going to do is that's going to slice the box right out of the center and now i've created that outer like frame it was super duper easy if you guys need to rewatch this part a couple of times it took me like a little bit to figure out like wait how, which one do i have to make bigger um but it was pretty easy once i realized that i was being a silly little turkey doodle so once i had it perfect to the the way that i wanted it i just print it out of my Cricut design space and I cut it onto my machine. Now, I will tell you guys, don't follow the size the size that was on um the size that was on the screen because it ended up being way too big, so I resized it according to my tumbler. I did about like 2.6 inches wide and about 3 inches long is what I did for mine. Um, and then of course the outer frame was a little bit longer. So when I am going to play something that has to be perfectly straight, I like to apply my decal while my tumbler is standing up just because it, I'm, I'm going to get a straighter, I'm going to get a straighter sticker. A lot of people like to measure and do all that stuff. If you're a perfectionist, you can absolutely do that. I've never been a measurer is that a word measurer measurer i've never been a human that measures i do i'm the same way with recipes i d i don't know why i'm like this but um i just i don't like to measure so i kind of just always eyeball it and i think i did a pretty good job i got it right in the center to cover that negative space and um i got it pretty straight so i'm pretty proud of my little eyeballing skills oh zone zone come for me and there was a tiny itty bitty itty bitty little bubble in the white part so i'm just going to cut a little slice through it and flatten it out and you're never going to be able to even tell that there was a little bubble there now, I printed my quote on clear sticker paper because I do not want to weed. I do not want to weed teeny tiny little letters. So I decided to go with manifest that shit because if you follow me on Instagram and you watch my lives every day, you know that I constantly tell you guys manifest and put that energy out into the universe that you want to come back. So it's a quote that I say all the time. So I thought, you know, how perfect. Obviously, I'm not going to put the brand, the name of the lotion on the tumbler. So I figured out a way to kind of use my own quote, but still make it match what's on the lotion so after this we sealed with 20 mls of epoxy and this was our final coat so two coats of epoxy is all it's going to take for this and then at the very end i came in with my exacto knife and i cleaned up the rim rim make sure that you are pointing your is exacto knife into the tumbler so you don't cut one of your sausage fingers off one of your booger hooks because you're gonna need those you know what i'm saying so i cut with my exacto knife and then i take my sanding block 100 grit from amazon and i just kind of sand at the very top to remove any residue i do this very carefully making sure i'm not getting any on the outside of the tumbler once I'm done, I take 99% or 100% acetone and I put it on a paper towel and I remove any of that residue from the rim, from the inside of the rim. And then I wash it with warm water and soap. And this is what it looked like when it was all said and done. I think I did a pretty good job. I think it looks pretty good. Let me know in the comments if you thought this was a fun tutorial. I love you guys. See you next Saturday. Besitos.